You know Dancer and Prancer and Comet and Vixen Comet and someone and someone and Nixon But do you recall the most chrono trigger of all? Rudolph the chrono trigger had a very shiny blonde and if you ever saw it, you would even say Yzma. All of the other triggers used to laugh and call him Carl. They never let poor Rudolph go by anything but Carl. Then one foggy 1000 AD, Yzma came to say, Rudolph, with your chrono so bright, why can't you play the clarinite? Then all the triggers loved him, and they shouted out with glee. Rudolph the chrono trigger, where's the gonna call you? Call like the light bulb. I cannot believe I just got all the words right. Do any of you actually remember the names of the reindeer? I can never remember all of them. I got a robin bow. I guess that means I can shoot robins now. I guess this is our music today. I got a hammer arm, thank goodness. The guitar tone and usage makes me want to mash this up with chameleon. Repetition and slow speed makes me want to speed it up and make it a polka. Nothing makes me want to play it as it is. I kind of want to change the meter. The bass phrasing works as a waltz, you both say. Tone in the bongos feel spy movie the <laughs> infiltration scene. I, I could maybe try to turn this bass line into a 5-4 and, and do the uh, Mission Impossible version. What happens if you play it really fast? <laughs> kind of want to do Chameleon. I, I like the spy movie idea, though. Doing that in 5.4 seems fun. Well, wait a minute. But now the question is, can I do Chameleon in 5.4 fast? Hmm. <laughs> That works really well in five. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Darn it. I like the idea of the bongos coming in frantically. Frantic bongos. Chameleon scat. Hmm. Not that kind of stream. <laughs> this is gonna be a mess. I blame Watermelon Man for a lot of stuff. If I'm doing the Mission Impossible hits over top of the um, chameleon part, then I should do the chameleon thing over top of the Mission Impossible part. Upright bass could be good for the xylophone lead. Pitt's upright bass is pretty dinky. I, I was going to try alternating uh, uh, tens and elevens. All right, tens and elevens. We're doing this in 21. Where are the pals? We're all here. And we're going to end on a Picardy third. Er. Ah! <laughs> um... Game in 21, if you alternate 10, 11, 12, 13, you make it 966 cycles. It's gonna be a long one, everybody. I don't know why I'm singing this while I'm playing this. Hey, well, no, that's two 21s. They're gonna be 23s instead. I'm gonna mess that up a lot. All right, drums. This seems like a logical uh, next step to Smash Bros. I feel like bongos and then sax. What do I use the music for? Oh, I don't use it for anything. All right, I don't make films, but if I did, they'd have a samurai. All right. About Christmas time, we need to step you in an extreme close-up bangles.
You're right, it's absolutely not a Chrono Trigger cover, but this song has no melody. Have you tried whole grain noodling? No, I haven't. I really ought to probably be healthier. If you play the bass guitar, then why don't you have a soul patch? Hmm. All right, you've outed me. I can't actually play the bass guitar. I've just had somebody down underneath me playing it from below. It looks like I'm playing it. I'm going to add a second reverb. That's how much reverb this is going to have on it. Inside a room, inside a larger room. That's correct. We have room, 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 room reverb. Uh, uh. Here is what we just made. I really did like the um, phaser on the bongos. Good call, Bobby. I mean, this is a ridiculous cover. This is barely a cover, but it was a lot of fun to do.